all right fam so we are back at it again with another crazy video now today i, I I'm, I'm not gonna lie i had an entire i had a whole nother video plan for y'all okay a whole nother video plan a video that was gonna be so informational so much knowledge within that video but i seen this video and i was like yo i have to react to this okay i gotta react to this today so if you don't know who kasanat is he's a big streamer i watch him i watch his clips on youtube um every well most of the time you know what i'm saying it's not an everyday thing for me but i do know who kasanat is i watch him a lot so man i'm just excited to see what he has to say about jesus christ i know that he used to like pray in the like the beginning of his streams and everything like that but who knows what who he was praying to you know what i'm saying everybody believes in like a different god even though there's only one god so without further ado man hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications shout out to kasanat for even allowing this young man to uh interview him so yeah without further ado man hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications let's get it let's go what's going on youtube today i'm here with kc3000 kc3000 my man where do you think we go when we pass away where you think we go when we pass away yeah all right so first i think that when you die like nothing happens then you wake up judgment day bro judgment day everybody's online everybody's gonna be with the higher power and then it's gonna determine where you going my boy and that's jesus christ jesus christ indeed amen so as we can see right here he believes in jesus christ which is a beautiful thing but we want to always take into account that faith without works is dead god says if you love me you will keep my commandments commandments and this is where we will go on with what he's about to say now so in your lives i hear you talk about jesus a few different times what do you think jesus re recommends for us to make it in heaven like what does he require for us to make it to heaven everything that he that he's already written down all the ten commandments he already put the rules out flat for you in the bible you already know what we got to do just do it yeah and i'm not gonna i ain't gonna lie we're not perfect bro we're not perfect you feel me we sin so it's real tough so right here he says um he lists out of things that we are that he thinks we are supposed to do in order to make it to heaven with jesus christ which was not the gospel or the full answer on how we truly make it he was kind of going off of works how we get saved by following the ten commandments and then it, he said he mentioned that it's not easy because we're not perfect and right here i'm so i know that our works are as filthy rags to god so i'm not upset that i wasn't able to tell him the gospel but right here this is what i'm going to explain to you guys it, we don't get saved by works our works are not enough god says our works is filthy rags to him um we get saved by grace through faith now like what i said a few minutes ago faith without works is dead if you say you believe in god but then you don't put in the work or show no work or effort that you truly believe in God, how will not only one, you have a relationship with God, but how will people even know that you believe in God? And not that it matters about what other people think, but you want to be a representation of who God is if you say you believe in him. God calls us to higher standards. So that's where then, if we're not doing that standard, we are supposed to repent and turn from our sins. Repentance is a turn of mind. It's where you go to Jesus and you're like, I'm sorry for the things that I've been doing that haven't been in your will. I ask that you clean my heart. I ask that you turn my heart onto the things of you and that you just transform me father god and you give me the strength right that's repenting and then it will be a change of mind and your heart will begin to change onto the things of god and um i wasn't able to ask him that either about his repenting for his sins because he was speaking on that we're not perfect and we're still not perfect that's just why the bible says great kings will fall several times but they will consistently get back up but if you're consistently falling in sin over and over and over again and you're never repenting and you're never getting back up you won't be able to make it to heaven with the father because you have to have a relationship with him in heaven it's not it's not that it's not full of sinners but it's full of sinners that were saved by his grace and that tried to follow his will repented they were after his heart in hell is people that weren't repenting for their sins they weren't turning from it they weren't trying to even follow him they thought they knew him because in the bible god says they honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me so we want to make sure that it's not just jesus i love jesus jesus is god he's this but that our hearts are actually on the things of jesus christ that we're actually hitting the secret place and talking to jesus christ that we're actually seeking him daily that we're actually seeking him through every relationship that we come into contact with, with different people that we're actually reading our word that we're actually growing to form into the things of jesus christ to the living word of god if we're not doing that and we're living in habitual sin we aren't putting in the effort to even try to become like jesus at all and that's where we won't make it to heaven because god can't have nothing to do with the sinner in heaven yeah. no cat what do you think i got saved by jesus last year i was in the music industry and um i had fell into deep sin went in a spiral of uh depression anxiety shaved my head bald because i didn't know myself at one point and um i had met a lot of famous people in the industry and i just was like i want something new and i went to church for the first time in a long time bro, i started praying to jesus i feel his power like never before yeah. and then he filled me with his power and i'm like i want that wherever i go because then it filled me with love joy peace all the fruits of the spirit and i hadn't felt it in so long yeah. and now i spread the gospel yeah, with when him you pray, when you pray things start working in magical mysterious ways no amen. cap bro that's why you got to stay prayed up amen you gotta, gotta keep god first amen and real quick can we pray real quick oh yeah we can, we can pray. pray real quick dear father god let I me pray let me pray yeah go ahead go okay. ahead all right <clears throat> 
at this part i wanted to pray for him but he said he wanted to pray and now i'm not the type of person that forces anybody to receive a prayer from me because number one i have a faith that i feel is so strong that whether he prayed in this moment or i prayed in this moment god will have the ultimate say so in what will happen to him um i've seen a few people saying you should have prayed for him instead of him praying his prayer wasn't a bad prayer and i know that a sinner or, or, or a habitual sinner shouldn't be praying over me but me allowing him to pray whether it was me or him it was setting a standard and setting a seed not only for him but for the people that follow him and look up to him and that's what i truly was looking for so when he offered it i wasn't going to be like nah 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 don't pray i want to pray because it's like he has some type of faith in jesus so him praying it you don't know what it could possibly do and we can still pray for him in the spirit so as he's praying for me i'm praying for him in the spirit i'm like father god just set your son free father god allow him to feel your love allow him to feel your presence allow him to truly follow you father god make him repent for his sins i'm saying that in the in my heart as he's praying in the spirit and in truth so um god is good our father who are in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth that is in and give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen god i'm so glad you found this brother right here amen. and every time when you do things you do it for a reason amen. it's a reason why he's here right now talking to amen. me and it's a reason why we we're calling on you and we're and we're and we're, and we're, we're talking to you amen you don't want to want to ask for anything i just want to say thank you we just need to give thanks to god thank you Jesus. thank us for us waking up this morning for us thank being you, here for the clothes on our back for us thank walking you, talking you, and able to just you know live life you just need me pray amen amen nice to meet you brother i hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't want to make it too long um i was able to preach to kai Sinat, a piece of my testimony and all right so let me go ahead and give my thoughts on the video now i'm not gonna lie I thought the video was going to be way longer than that. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was going to be like a full-on video of Kassanat, you know, giving his whole thoughts on Jesus Christ and everything like that. But I'm also just glad that he knows about Jesus. Okay, so number one, when you see a person that's living in habitual sin, because we we see, the Bible tells that you know a person by their fruits. You know what I'm saying? You know a tree by its fruits. So it's not us judging and assuming that he's living in habitual sin. It's us knowing because of what we are seeing. We 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 see the things that he's posting. We see all these things. So we know when a person is truly living in habitual sin and they're not fully committed to Christ. But it's good to know that a person like Kaisenat knows about Jesus because when 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 life see i knew about jesus i knew of jesus let me say that i knew of jesus so when i knew when i knew of jesus and when 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 it got to a point where i felt led to go to church i knew exactly who to call on i knew exactly who to run to you know what i'm saying and i knew in my heart that jesus was real i knew in my heart that he was i didn't think he i didn't know what was truth i didn't know none of that i just knew that i knew of jesus i knew there was a man named jesus and once i felt led to go to church i instantly wanted to cry out to him that was the first person i cried out to so eventually god is going to you know what i'm saying change casting that heart you know what i'm saying casting that heart will get changed because if my heart got changed if this guy heart got changed if john gabbana heart got changed if all these other people black china i, I don't know her name now but when black china should get her life to christ uh hulk hogan like all these different celebrities whose hearts got changed because they truly believed in christ i mean you can't make it up you know what i'm saying so eventually when it is the right time casanet his heart will fully get changed because casanet is a loving person he's a caring person i see that in his character as he's making these videos he is such a loving and caring person same thing with aiden ross same thing with speed same thing with all these big streamers that's doing crazy stuff on the internet but i could tell that they are truly loving people you know what i'm saying regardless of what they do regardless of what they post regardless of the entertainment they are truly loving people loving and caring people and eventually god is going to continue to work on them and continue to move in their life and continue to touch their hearts because they're coming into they're coming to encounters with prophets with people that believe in jesus to talk to them about jesus christ i shall speak came into an encounter with a street preacher and the street preacher was trying to tell him about jesus he didn't really want to hear it, but eventually He's going to remember these moments or they're going to remember this moment. That's why it's important for all believers to set, uh, to plant seeds. Why do you live a life that you're not planting any seeds? Our goal is to win souls. Everybody want to make it to heaven, but what's the fun? What What is it? What is like, I'm trying to figure out how I want to put this. Like, 
We all want to make it to heaven, yes. But if you love the people that you encounter here on earth, don't you want them to make it to heaven with you? Why go to heaven alone when you can be going to heaven with all the people you encounter here on earth? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can be going to heaven with your mother, your dad, all these different people that God placed in your life on earth. You can see them also in heaven. You will recognize them also in heaven. So why, why are you just holding back truth in your heart and not spreading it out and spreading out the love and telling people, like, look, this is the way, this is the truth, this is life. I get it. People may not want to follow Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? But if we being real, people don't want to follow him simply due to the due to, I guess you could call them restrictions. But if you think about it, I mean, you're not going to say you don't want your mother being your mother because she had restrictions on you when you was a child or your, you don't want your dad to be your dad because he had restrictions on you as you was a child. God have restrictions on us. Not, not is it's not that we can't do these things because we definitely can. He gives us the free will to be able to do these things. But the problem with that is that He's trying to protect us from the things that could come out of us doing these things out of order. So if we having sex outside of marriage, that comes with a lot. That comes with soul ties. That comes with your you're you're connected in a spiritual realm. A whole bunch of stuff that's spiritual that's happening when you have sex outside of marriage. That's why it's supposed to be in the covenant of marriage. Don't drink or not. Don't don't drink but don't get drunk you know what i'm saying don't get drunk because it is demons connected to the alcohol that we just chugging and chugging and chugging and we getting wasted and all this look at liquor stores why do you think it say spirits on there okay like i don't know if every liquor store in america say spirits but as majority about i say about 80 90 percent of liquor stores say spirits you know what i'm saying it, it's a spirit behind alcohol and when you continue to drink it and get drunk off of it that's why the bible say don't get drunk I mean, it's just it's a lot of things that the Bible tells us not to do so that we can so that we can be protected from what's going to come out of the things that we do. If we if we do these things, you see what I'm saying? But I just want to say this Casanet, you know, what I'm saying like, I don't know. He may see this video. He may not. I don't know. Only only God can really allow this video to pop up on his feed if you know if it's the time. But Casanet, bro. God loves you regardless. God loves you. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they think that because they got all this money is from God, but I'll be real with you. Money ain't nothing, bro. All this going to pass away. All this going to just go away. But a lot of people that got all this money there, you know, they don't know it, but they're doing things for the devil. You know what I'm saying? They're living a life dedicated or they're living a life that's glorifying the devil instead of glorifying God. A lot of people that got all these buckloads of money, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying that's what Kassin that doing because I see that he do have a heart for God. The first thing he said in his prayer, he said the Lord's prayer. But then right after that, he said, look. I don't want to ask for nothing. I just want to say thank you. He's giving things to God. So he believes there is a God. He believes that Jesus Christ is the Lord and just is our Lord and Savior. Now, I don't know if he believes that Jesus Christ is God, but I know that he believes or I think that he believes that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, which is good. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, when you, Kai, when you fully commit yourself to Christ, Things going to start to change in your life. I don't know exactly everything that he may be going through, but all I know is that all these big influencers need to truly commit themselves to Christ, fully commit themselves to Christ. Don't just know of Jesus. Don't just think that, oh, I have to follow the Ten Commandments and that's it. No, 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 no. That's not it. Don't, 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 don't just, oh, I got to, I'm going to follow the Ten Commandments and I'm good. I'm going to heaven because I'm a good person. It don't matter if you're good because nobody is good. If you stole, if you if you lied before, if you uh, had sex outside of marriage, if you lusted after a woman, if you cheated, if you abused, if you murdered somebody, you're not good. No one is good. You know what I'm saying? We would never be good. You feel me? But one thing that we one thing that we can count on is that Jesus Christ died for our sins. He got up on that cross. He shed his blood for all humanity not just for not just for god uh god's people not just for the israel uh the uh israelites not not just for them he got up there and he shed it his blood for all humanity for everybody the gentiles everybody you know what i'm saying and that's why we need to truly understand that jesus christ is our true lord and savior and we need to live for him we need to dedicate ourselves to him okay we need to truly dedicate our lives to him fully live out his will are you gonna be perfect no you're not going to be perfect no one is perfect you would not be 100 percent perfect but 
when God sees your heart and he sees that you're trying to dedicate yourself to him and he, and he see that you're trying to live a life fully committed to him, not off your works, but you're really a man after his heart. The Bible say, draw near to him. He will draw near to you. The Bible say, if you ask, you shall receive. If you seek, you shall find. I mean, the Bible tells us these things. So the more we draw near to God, the more we chase after his heart is the more that he's going to start to come after us, the more that he's going to be right there with us. But God is not a God that's going to just burst in the door. No, he's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. So he's going to continue to knock at the door of your heart. And he's just waiting on you to open up the door. But a lot of us, we so blind to it that we don't see these things. We just think that, oh man, ain't no God, this and that. Oh, I just know of Jesus. Oh, I go to church every Sunday. No, no, no. It's more than that. God really wants a relationship with you. He don't want you just to go to church every Sunday. He don't want you just to say that, oh, I read the Bible. No, no, he don't want that. He wants you to truly have a genuine relationship with him. All them things come into a relationship, but that's not what you should just only be doing. Anyways, man, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video, man. I I love the fact that Kai knows something about Jesus, okay? Because the, the more he know of Jesus, the more he's going to get to know Jesus. That's the biggest thing. You can know of Jesus, and the moment you know of Jesus, the moment you go get to know, truly know Jesus, the more you start to seek, seek, you know what I'm saying? Seek after him, seek after his heart. Seek after the kingdom. The more you do that, the more you go get to truly know Jesus. You will have the revelation of who Jesus really is. Because I seen the face that Kai made when he said the power. The power. He felt Jesus' power. He felt like the Kai was like, oh. Because they don't know that this is a trinity we're talking about. This is God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what we're talking about. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is exactly what we talk about. All three, three in one, three dimensions in one. That, that, that's everything we're talking about. The Holy Spirit comes into you when you believe in Jesus Christ and you believe that he was your Lord and Savior and you believe that God raised him up from the dead. This is, and you truly seek after him, the Holy Spirit is, is upon you now because now you are a true believer in Christ. Anyways, I'm gonna get off this video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, bro. Uh, I pray that these videos reach the people that it needs to reach. I don't care about the views, the money. I don't care about none of that. I just want you guys to to truly seek the Lord for yourself. Don't follow him because I'm saying it. Seek him for yourself and watch what he do in your life. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.